yes now students let us start with the step design of stem so here students what we have to do yes here what we have to do students the stem acts as a continuous slab spanning between the counter foot it is subjected to linearly varying earth pressure having maximum intensity at the bottom okay now for this what we will do we'll consider with the next step this one students now the page is clear to you i think see now students we have to consider 1 meter wide spread at the bottom of the stem so here with the formula maximum horizontal pressure on the stem ka gamma h what is the value of ka 1 by 3 nothing but 0.333 something into 18 gamma and h is 6.5 total height if you do the simplification you will get 38.961 so p is equals to 39 kilo newton per meter square next the maximum negative ultimate moment is given by the formula mu is equals to 1.5 into pl square by 12 so 1.5 into 39 is p l is 2.7 square by 12 if you do the simplification you get 35.54 kilo newton meter so next step is students to determine the area of the steel as you know the formula mu is equals to 0.87 fy ast d minus 1.005 into fy ast by fck into b so we have to substitute the values of students of mu 35.54 into 10 power 6 here only it is so here the units are kilo newton meter kilo newton is converted into newton so 10 power 3 and meter is converted into mm 10 power 3 so total is 10 power 6.87 fy is 415 ast we don't know d is 250 then 1.005 into fy is ast ast we don't know then fck is 20 into b is 1000 so if you simplify this okay so you will get the ast value the ast value after simplification will get 407.6 mm square so area as it we are calculating the area the units is mm square so now we have to calculate ast minimum so here the formula is ast by bd into 100 so substitute the value of ast 407.6 into b is 100 sorry 1000 d is 250 into 100 if you do the calculation you will get pt is equals to 0.16 percentage so next step ast minimum is 0.12 By hundred into BD, so point one two by hundred into thousand into three hundred. If we do the calculation, we'll get three sixty mm square. So in the next step, we have to provide uh, or calculate spacing. So we are going to provide twelve mm dia bars, pi by four into twelve square by three sixty. Here AST minimum into thousand. If you do the space calculation, you'll after simplification, you'll get three one five point one six mm. So by this, we will decide the spacing. So we are going to provide 12 mm dia bars at 250 mm center to center. So here, a uh, earth pressure increases. Okay, earth pressure decreases towards the top spacing of the bars can be used with increase in height of bars can be curtailed. Okay, students. Now we are going to provide the distribution bars, students. What are distribution bars? Ma'am, page so, visible illa, ma'am. Ma now. Yes. Now. Yes. Now it is visible, students. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now. Okay. Now here we will calculate distribution bars. AST minimum is equals to three sixty mm square. So we here we will provide eight mm dia bars. So spacing formula is equals to pi by four into eight square by three sixty into thousand. So dia at three hundred mm center to center at both the sides in vertical directions. In the next step, students. Here, what we will do? We will calculate the design of counterfoot. Here, in counterfoot, we are going to calculate horizontal ties as well as vertical ties. Now, see the student. See here, students. Width of the counterfoot is three hundred mm. Spacing of counterfoot is three meter, center to center. Now, we have to find the theta. That is inclination of counterfoot with horizontal. Theta is equals to tan inverse of six point five by two point nine. As we can see in the figure so after the simplification you will get theta is equals to 66 degrees 
Okay. In the next step, we'll calculate depth of counterfoot. Okay. Yes. Here, depth of counterfoot D for beam. Okay, across the junction. So D is equals to capital D minus effective cover. So here, small D. Okay, we have to calculate. So effective cover D, capital D. Okay, uh, so the D value is 2900 minus uh, sine 66 degree. Okay. Next, effective cover is 50 we will take for assumption. So after the calculation, simplification, you will get 2599.28 which can be converted or approximately taken as 2600 mm. At any depth H1 below the total height, okay, total horizontal earth pressure acting on the counterfoot. So here it is given by the formula Ka gamma H cube by 6 into center to center distance between counterfoot. So Ka is 1 by 3, gamma is 18, H is equals to 6.5 Q by 6 into 3. After simplification, we get 823.88 kilonewton meter. So, for this earth pressure or this moment, we have to calculate limit moment. Multiply answer by 1.5. So, we will get 1235.82 kilonewton meter. Okay. In the next step, we have to calculate area of steel required. So, it is given by the formula MU is equals to 0.87 FI AST D minus 1.005 FI AST by FCK into B. So, here MU is 1235.82 into 10 power 6. How we got this 10 power 6 students? Kilo Newton is converted to Newton into 10 power 3. Meter is converted into mm. That again 10 power 3. Total 10 power 6. So, 0.87 into FI is 415 into AST. D is 2600 as we calculated above. Then 1.005 FI is 415. AST we don't know. FCK, FCK is 20. B is 1000. If you do the simplification by using calculator, we will get AST is equals to 1330.7 mm square. Okay, students. After this, we have to calculate minimum reinforcement. Okay, here. So, minimum reinforcement is given by 0.85 BD by FY is the formula for slab. So, 0.85 into B is 300 into 2600 by 415. So, width of the counter of quarters is 300 mm. So, you do the simplification, you will get 1597.6 mm square. So, here we are going to provide 4 bars or 25 mm dia. 4 number of bars. So, ST provided is equal to 4 into pi by 4 into 25 square. You will get the AST provided value as 1963.5 mm square. Next steps. And the stem due to the horizontal earth pressure, the vertical stem has a tendency of separating out from the counterfoot. Hence, it should be tied by horizontal ties. Okay. Now, here what we will do. Consider 1 meter height. One second, I'll just rotate it. Yeah. Here, consider 1 meter height of the stem. So, direct pull on by wall on the counter fourth for 1 meter height at the base. So, here the formula is given by maximum pressure into center to center spacing. So, maximum pressure formula is given by, okay, is given by Ka gamma H into 3 minus 0.3. So, 1 by 3 into 18 into 6.5 by 2.7. If you calculate and multiply this, you will get 105.3 kilo Newton. So, for this force, we have to calculate factored force by multiplying 1.5. We will get 157.95. So, it can be taken approximately as 158 kilo Newton. In the next step, students, you have to calculate area of steel required to resist the pull. AST is equals to VU by 0.87 F5. We have to substitute here students. VU is 158 kilo Newton. Kilo means 10 power 3 into 0.87 into Fi. If you simplify this, you will get 437.6. So, here we are going to provide 10 mm dia bars at a spacing of 170 mm center to center. How to calculate the spacing now students? S is equals to pi by 4 into 10 square. This AST 437.6 into 100. So, after calculation, okay. 
you will get the value of s as 179.5 mm so similarly with respect to this vertical ties so we'll calculate design of vertical ties it is the counterfort and the slab maximum pull will be ex okay exerted at the end of the heel slab where the downward force is 87.39 kN per meter so this value 87.39 is taken from the design of heel slab so here students total downward force at d 87.393 minus 0.3 if you do the simplification will get to 35.95 kN so factored force so we, uh, uh, by multiplying this value by 1.5 we'll get factored force which is 353.93 kN so similarly in terms of horizontal ties we'll calculate here ast for vertical ties ast is equals to vu by 0.87 fy so vu is 353.93 kilo is 10 power 3 into 0.87 into 4.5 after simplification we'll get 980.28 mm square okay so here what we will do yes provide 10 mm dia bars okay s yes. spacing we have to calculate 5 by 4 into 10 square by 980.28 into 1000 after simplification we will get 80.12 mm so we are going to provide here 10 mm dia bars at 80 mm center to center by this we will cal we have calculated horizontal ties as well as vertical ties okay